All right, we're at the bottom of the page on the back of the notes, and we're doing the mixture versus compounds classifying activities. So you are going to be shown a series of photos, and you're going to try to guess and see if you know which whether the photo represents um, an item that's composed of an element, a compound, or a mixture. So just a little review to help you out. An element contains just one type of atom. A compound contains two or more atoms that are chemically joined together. And a mixture contains two or more substances, but they are simply mixed or physically joined together, not chemically bonded. So a mixture can contain both elements and compounds, but remember, it's simply physically mixed, not chemically combined. All right, picture number one. Rocks. Are rocks an element, a compound, or a mixture? Make your guess. Correct. They're a mixture. Woohoo! If you didn't already write it in, write rocks under the mixture box. All right, number two. What about copper? An element, a compound, or a mixture? Bingo! It's an element. Write it in if you haven't already. Number three, jelly beans. An element, compound, or mixture. Mixture. Write it in. Right now you should have one thing written under elements, which is copper, nothing written under compounds, and two under mixtures. You should have rocks and jelly beans. All right, so I'm going to make sure you're doing it right. Here we go. Table sugar. If you guessed compound, you were correct. Next one. A diamond. Is it an element, a compound, or a mixture? An element. Diamonds are actually made of carbon. I think most of you know that, except that it was under extremely high pressure. So an element. Next we have tea. Tea is a mixture. All right. Salt. Table salt, what is it? An element, a compound, or a mixture? It is a compound, NaCl. All right, moving on. Neon gas. This one should be easy if you've been paying attention the last week. And an element, a noble gas to be exact. All right. Salad. A mixture. Next one. What about pure water? Think about the formula. Think about what you know. Correct. A compound. If it was not pure water, it would probably be considered a mixture because impurities in the water, such as minerals or other dissolved um, things, can make it impure water. So pure water is H2O by itself, impure water would be considered a mixture. Aluminum. Element, compound, or mixture. It's an element. All right. Lemonade. Talked about this one briefly yesterday. It is a mixture. We mix the lemonade powder and dissolve it into water. So not only is it a mixture, but it's a solution. Silver. Silver is an element. We know it's on the periodic table. 
chemical symbol AG. All right. Sand. What is sand? Is it an element, a compound, or a mixture? This is a tough one. You were correct if you said it was a mixture. All right, so under your elements category, you have five things. Under your compounds, you have three. And under your mixtures, you have six. Just a little overview of what we've talked about today. If you look, um, we are talking about matter and how what it is composed of. Matter can be composed of two different things. It can be composed of pure substances, or it can be co composed of mixtures. We know that when we look at pure substances, there are two main categories, the elements and the compounds. Elements are uh, one simple thing, cannot be broken down anymore. Compounds are two elements chemically combined. And then if we go over to the mixture category, we know we can split that into heterogeneous and homogeneous. And within that, we briefly touched on some more specific examples, such as solutions and suspensions. But we know this is how we break down the composition of matter. All right. And go ahead and glue your notes into page 44 in your notebook.